even if she was married to him. And then, are people not allowed to mourn, to grieve, to have a grieving period, but then to move forward as well? It hits us the most. Hits you with your bond. Hits you with your car installment. Hits you with the food. Hits you with everything. 16 year old, 17 year old, with a 37 year old, please. There's nothing equal about that relationship. It's nonsense. Uh, your take on having children, poor investments or not, wow. First and foremost, why are we calling children poor investments? The audacity to say, I was babysitting your kid. <laughs> But this person you are with took a lot of heat for you. Took a lot of heat for you online. If there's one thing I always ask in any of my relationships, do not make me look like a clown on these streets. Don't. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hey everybody, welcome to part two of Controversial Trending Topics with me, Jess Katleo, Katleo Malela. Thank you so much for being here. As always, thank you for choosing me over and over again without dilly-dallying. If you haven't watched part one of this video, I highly suggest that you watch that one first and then you come back to this one so that you can see all the other things that were trending and all of this that I spoke about and spoke around now we're going to continue. Thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. If you do like this video, once you've watched it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and join the JK family. Let's Epstein, the Epstein case. Oh my gosh. Again, like we said in 2024, the scandals, people are going to be exposed. People are going to come out. So the Epstein list came out about a week ago uh, as I am recording this, by the time I'm recording this, and it was... So some of the names that we saw in the Epstein list, and they call it a list, but it's actually a series of court documents that uh, expose certain names of very powerful, rich, and influential people and the connections that they had with Jeffrey Epstein. So everybody kind of lost their marbles when they saw names like Oprah Winfrey on there and Stephen Hawking and David Copperfield and, uh, geez, uh, Chris Tucker. I mean, you're joking. Uh, Bill Clinton, which if you did watch the Epstein uh, documentary and the Ghislaine Maxwell documentary on Netflix, then you would know that Bill Clinton has been mentioned before. Uh, Prince Andrew, England, settled the suit with regards to this Epstein case. But essentially, if you do not know who Jeffrey Epstein is, he was a billionaire that was convicted and has now past he's deceased they found that he had hung himself in uh, his jail cell but that's also a very controversial thing because some people believe that he didn't do it some people believe that uh, because he had connections to very rich and powerful people and knew things about very rich and powerful people that he may have been but um, he was essentially a billionaire that did a lot of uh, wealth management for very highly influential people. So he had a wealth management company that managed finances for very, very wealthy people. Um, he never took on cases of people who had less than a billion dollars. Never. But that's not the point of Jeffrey Epstein. The point of Jeffrey Epstein is that he was also then exposed to be um, the head honcho in a sex trafficking ring. Yeah. Yeah. He would take in young girls, find them on the street. Ghislaine Maxwell was his, his side piece, his girlfriend slash his PIMP. She would be the one to go and solicit these girls and they would come in and Jeffrey would do horrendous things to them and would also give off these girls to his friends and very powerful, highly influential people. So when the list came out, these documents, when they came out, we got a whole lot of names. Okay, we got Stephen Hawking. 
We got uh, David Copperfield. But one of the things that I, I need to stress and mention is that the names may have come out, but it doesn't necessarily mean that those people have a direct tie to what uh, Jeffrey Epstein was doing in terms of the trafficking and all of that. It just means that they may know him. That's all. Um, and it was proved with many of the Jane Doe cases who eventually we know their names now they did say with cases like with uh, president bill clinton that there was none of that that was connected to the sexual trafficking or all of that but uh, with prince andrew some things came up with stephen hawking some things came up um so we are seeing the fall or we are seeing the disintegration of the rich wealthy and powerful disintegration of the secrets that they keep they are fizzling out they are coming out into the forefront we are seeing eat rich basically we are eating the rich because at this point you're starting to see what is actually really happening with the rich people okay nadia and aka i feel like society is judging her too hard i mean she was not married to aka absolutely absolutely May AKA soul rest in peace because God damn it. I am really kind of upset that we don't know more. I'm, I, we don't know more about what happened to AKA who's behind this. I mean, uh, anyway, we're talking about Nadia Nakai. Absolutely. She was not married to him. Yes. Did she love him? Yes. Did she say he was the love of her life? Yes, she did. Will he continue to probably remain the love of her life? He probably will, but Nadia is alive and AKA unfortunately has passed and Nadia needs to live her life. I don't understand why now, oh my God, she's moving on. Oh my God, she's shaking her booty. Oh my God, she's doing whatever. Even if she was married to him and then are people not allowed to mourn, to grieve, to have a grieving period, but then to move forward as well, to hold that person in their hearts for the rest of their lives, but to be able to move forward as well? Is she not allowed to move on? And if she isn't allowed to move on, what is the problem? Why? Why? If she's not allowed to move on, why? And I come back At which point or how long? Should she be grieving for? Get out of here, man. Please, man. Please, man. Some people move on within three months, four months. Statistically, we know that it takes a lot longer for a, a woman to move forward, right, after a passing of an intimate partner than it does a man. We know this. We know this. But now that she has grieved and she wants to continue to start to live her life again and to be social and go out partying and go out blah, 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 and potentially even have an intimate relationship, what is the problem? Please, man, let her breathe. My goodness. It's the nonsense for me, truly. Your take on the RAND manipulation, wild. Wild. What can we actually say? about the RAND manipulation, apart from the fact that we, the community, the citizens, the middle class and below are feeling the effects harder of the RAND manipulation than the, 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 the rich rich, than the rich rich. The rich rich can eat rich, it's fine. We don't care. But the middle class and the lower class and people who are striving in poverty are feeling it the most. It hits us the most. Hits you with your bond. Hits you with your car installment. Hits you with the food. Hits you with everything. What kind of country are we living in? It's crazy. The amount of banks the list of the banks that were mentioned in the aiding of the rand manipulation are you joking you are sitting here thinking it's just probably even big attack and just maybe it's the bank or this or this or this there's international banks 
What are you talking about? I was sitting there saying, what? HSBC, what? Barclay, <sighs> Crazy. There's not much I can say about it apart from the fact that we're being made pupils. We're being made pupils. So please vote. <laughs> okay. Um, appropriate age gaps between people in a relationship. Are there any? I feel like, I feel like, pairs on Ali, if you are above 21, honestly, if you're above 21 and you want to be with someone who's 45, you want to be with someone who's 55, and you are 35 and you want to be with someone who's 60, and you, if you are what, it's your choice. Who is to determine or to even bring to the forefront the conversation of what's appropriate and what's not, especially in an intimate relationship. What is it that you know? The thing is, I tend to be very particular, especially if it's in the early 20s and the man is in the 40s, because then, then there's a lot of manipulation. Then there's a lot of grooming. Then there's a lot of you are gonna whether you like it or not in the early 20s so i'm quite particular there but say so say someone is 21 and he's 30 or whatever or vice versa ah, 22 they are 28 ah, you know but if the age gap especially in the early 20s is vastly different you get a 22 year old with a 40 or 50 year old or you get a 16 year old i think we know what we're talking about right TikTok, right these kids 20 16 year old 17 year old with a 37 year old please there's nothing equal about that relationship it's nonsense <laughs> There's nothing equal. Everything about relation, that kind of relationship says grooming. Everything about that kind of relationship says someone is being controlled. Whether they like to believe it or not. No, I'm just in it because so what if I like them older? So what if you are being made a Popeye? All because you are going into that relationship for whatever transactional purpose you are going into it for. You are not or, and never will probably call the shots ever and no one needs to call the shots in a relationship don't be like give me give me right here okay no one needs to call the shots in a relationship above the other person but there must be some form of equality in a relationship okay um your take on having children poor investments or not wow first and foremost why are we calling children poor investments yikes hi <laughs> 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 That is cringeworthy. Did I actually just say that out loud? Why? Why are you calling children poor investments? It's terrible. Okay, anyway, uh, my take on having children have them if you want to. But be smart about it. I don't know what more to say to you. Have the kids if you want to, but be smart about having children. Be aware of the kind of environment and the socio-economic political space we are currently living in. Let me tell you something about having children and what, what is happening around the world when it comes to women choosing to have children or not. Many women are choosing not to have children. In a country like North Korea, let me, let me put you on. Let me, let me give you a, a little education here. In a country like North Korea, most of the population is elderly. A lot of the population is in the older we're talking from 40 up, from, ugh, not even 40, from 50, 60 up. And the young generation, the, now the population is more so an elderly population than a young population. And that for a country is a problem. I think we all know why, right? That for a country is a problem. So much so that North Korea is asking their young people, please get married. Please have children. Please have whatever. Guys. Young people. Women in particular. Because we are the carriers. Right? Young people are not having children as much as they used to. They're just not. Because maybe you look at the fact of having children and you're just like, I don't know, man. 
I don't know. I'm not in a financial position to have a kid, so why have one? I'm not in the financial space to have a kid, so why have one? I'm not in the emotional space to have a kid, so why have one? And now I'm going to have a kid and know that at the end of the day, I'm going to be the primary parent because have you seen the emotional labor that men put women through, especially when it comes to children? Especially when it comes to children. Men will sit for three hours with their own kids while the mom is out getting her hair done or having lunch with her friends or doing this, that, and the other. And then when she comes back, he's got the audacity, the audacity, Audacity to say, I was babysitting your kid. <laughs> your own child? Babysitting. Your own child. Uh, what are you smoking? Maybe. What are you smoking? What are you on? Like, like, like put me onto what you're onto. Because at this part of the day, I don't understand what the hell you're talking about. No one babysits their own kid. They just sit around with their kid. You're not babysitting. My goodness. So my take on having kids. <laughs> I could be here all day. That, that chat about emotional labor, I love. It's one of my favorite things. And maybe, maybe I might do a TikTok about it. Maybe I might do a video about it. Who knows? And talk about what emotional labor is. Um, but uh, have a kid if you want to have a kid. But be smart about having a kid. I don't know about kids being poor investments or not. Um, I don't even think you should see a, a child as an investment. I, it's cringe. It's cringeworthy for me to, to, to read that, actually. Um, have a kid because you want to have a kid. But also be smart about having a kid because you are in the right financial position to have one. Okay? A child is not a part-time job. A child is not a part-time job. A child is forever. A child is forever. You can't just have the child and then six months later and be like, I don't want to play with her anymore. A child is forever, bro. A lot of our men are gay, allegedly. What? <laughs> Yo, and yes, the son. No, man. No, no, stop. No, stop it. And I know her. No, stop it. No, I don't think so. Are they? Are they? And why? Please tell me why. Why are they allegedly gay? Do I need to read up on some things? Oh my god. <laughs> Hi sister, Michali and Leroy chat. Jeez. I knew I got a I got I got a few of these. Alright, alright, here we go. I got a few of these. So now I think by now you guys know that I never really have an opinion on the fact that somebody decides to um, uh, be in a relationship with a married man or not or blah, blah, blah. Is it something that I would do? No. Is it something that I would condone? No. Or maybe that's my opinion, right? I would not condone it. Do I want to sit and have a conversation about Michali's relationship and or rather in this case ex relationship? Um, no, I don't. However, the breakup, whew, I will have an opinion with that. Uh, ugly, 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 ugly. Uh, all right, so from the Michali end, um, all I could see or all I would say to her personally, if something like this happens and, and, and it's an a lady kind of situation, why? Why? Uh, there's certain things that were not necessary to come out on your Instagram stories. Uh, the doxing of the number, not necessary. And I think, I think in hindsight, you know, when she looks back on it, she's like, yeah, man, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, the doxing of the number, completely unnecessary. Uh, mentioning uh, that she paid for some things on the trip to Mexico or wherever it was that they went. Um, Totally, totally unnecessary. And I think in that case, she actually took an L to herself. She took an L to herself. Not for Leroy, because I'm coming to Leroy. Not for Leroy, but she took an L for herself there. I don't think she was supposed to say that. Um, there's certain things that you just don't say when you're in a relationship with someone, even when you're out of it. Do not mention how you help each other or you help, because in that time, when you were doing that swiping, you were happy. You were happy enough to do it. You didn't mind doing it. But now the problem is, in Michali's case, it became quite contradictory given the, uh, the 
how vocal she's been about you know being with a man with money and being in a relationship with a man with money she's not gonna be in a relationship with a broke guy she's not broke doesn't make sense for her to be in a relationship with a broke guy of course so she's going to be in a relationship with a man with money because she wants a certain type of status for her relationships good for her that's perfect that's perfectly fine everybody needs to have standards and preferences however uh, I do think it was a little bit callous in the sense that uh, that it that wasn't necessary to mention that became an L on you because now people are like ah unonzo tama unzo wakor the way ba wetu tanso ba wetu tanso kante unzo patala yaman then it doesn't look nice ish that's my conditioner then it doesn't look nice on your be- behalf you know so i think it's really really important that some things you just keep hush on man there's there's totally unnecessary totally unnecessary and then going ahead to then fight with the friend via stories totally unnecessary i just i just feel like i wish somebody could have taken her phone from her at that point uh because what also came across to me uh was the fact that she was really hurt about this she was really hurt about this if you can if you're not hurt anymore things like this and it's over and whatever you don't she was really hurt about it and because of that she went off on the social media spaces um Leroy really nothing to add nothing absolutely nothing 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 i've got nothing good to say about the gent nothing there's really nothing it's it's i feel bad for her that she went and she picked that kind of guy if you have a guy who's gonna also even something as simple as do an instagram live and record you while you're sleeping yuck man cringe and if you are maybe they had a fight when you got to dubai and all of this and they had a fight and now squinchy whatever i don't know then the friend records him busy kissing on another girl yuck man yuck because this person that you are with again i'm not going to mention how they were together the fact that he's married whatever is none of my business but this person you are with took a lot of heat for you took a lot of heat for you online a lot of heat for you the least you could do is give her this just give her some kind of respect bro come on if there's one thing i always ask in any of my relationships do not make me look like a clown on these streets don't and making me look like a clown on these streets is essentially that embarrassing me on these streets Now people know that I'm with you. Now people are seeing you do these things. On gets up by strateg man. Oh, cringe. Nothing. I have absolutely no opinion on that guy. None whatsoever apart from Umholo von Toto die sagen dat. Umholo. Umholo blind von Toto die sagen. Far too grown to be behaving like this. Yikes man. Anyway, that's it from me with my controversial trending topics. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yep, 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 it's sufficient. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a like, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if there are other things that you would like my opinion on especially when it comes to controversial trending topics, social, political, economic, whatever it may be, let me know down below in the comment section if you did enjoy the video thank you so much as always thank you for choosing me over and over again give the video a like uh, give the video a like and i will see you in the next one until then sayonara